While running the desert marathon on the fourth day, you get caught in a sudden sandstorm right in between two checkpoints. Following the track becomes impossible and you soon get lost in a cloud of dust and sand. Blinded by the wind, breathing with difficulty, the sun setting in a direction you can't tell, you start wondering if you'll make it alive, if you'll survive the desert. Thank you so much for joining me this Game Edge. We're back in Star Sand. We had a lot of fun with it. Thank you to the dev team again for sending a vast copy and a copy of this one. Extremely excited to jump in and to showcase a track. At least we'll try a season of it and see how long we can survive. This is a brutal survival game in the desert. Alright, so, uh, wow, we're back up and running. And again, if you guys are enjoying this, please take time, hit the like button if you're brand new. Please go and subscribe. We'll see how long we survive this one. And yeah, it does look different than the inside, eh? And when you go to bed at night, the moons and stuff, I think we fell asleep and somehow got teleported from the house. I have no idea, but that sandstorm really did a number on us. All right, equip water bottle. We need to do that first. That is absolutely true. I'm going to put it down here. And then we want to most likely drink it, I guess, right? That's what they want us to do. Let's drink it. Excellent. We can put a little more in our throat. There we go. Nice. Stomach's nice and full. All right, we're going to need to craft up. Open up the craft. Let's follow exactly what we're saying. We open that up good and make a crude knife. So we can grab those two rocks right over here. And we'll make ourselves a crude knife right there. So tools and a crude knife. Anything different from last time? I know we can open up things as we're working on it. By the way, the crafting is on the left-hand side right there if you're wondering what's going on. But I remember we... Went and got some, uh, went to one of the ruins over there. We found ourselves a tiny bit of information what was going on. So I'm not going to ruin it for you if you need to watch it. I'm going to go back and check it out. Pretty darn cool. There we go. Grabbed all the goodies from there. And we can't get anything else from here, that's for sure. Now we have to actually dismantle it and make ourselves a axe with this, right? So let's dismantle this. And now we can make ourselves an axe. And you only get partial things back. So, you know, got to be careful when you're going to do that. We found out the hard way last time. And one stone, we need to make a cordage. All right, so there we go. Let's craft this up. i will get two of those crafted right away. And there's another stone right here. How convenient it is, but you know what? It is a tutorial too. We need to go for that palm tree right there. We can see that is our main goal for this. All right, let's go to crafting again. And it should be able to make ourselves the axe now without any problems. Looks like everything that we can craft with that are all kind of whited out here, right? Correct. All right, there we go. Almost done and completed. We're going to have that axe hopefully come back in here. And we're ready to go. Crafted. Trying to survive another day in hell itself. This would be hell for me. Now, we got to craft markers. Also red when we were loading up that the sandstorms will wipe away the stuff you guys were mentioned that in the comp fields too thank you for that and as i'm running by the way it actually makes us thirstier so we gotta be careful but we're gonna do it for now just to get ourselves out where we need to go yeah wipe away everything including markers i didn't know that that's pretty shitty markers should stay but if you leave anything on the ground like we did before it'll just disappear so we gotta be careful we'll have to make ourselves a storage crate as soon as possible just learn by using the logbook, gotcha. I know you told me to cut down the stems for this, but I'm just going to grab the logs too, if you don't mind, because we're going to need those. There we go. Good. And oh my god, that's right. I I forgot we need to actually cut them down into stems. <laughs> I just wanted to grab them and start rolling so we can get going on the other side, but we have to do this. These stems are very, very important. We'll make some rope out of that. Good stuff. Cut those babies up. Nice. Need to find water. I know where it is right in front of us. Obviously, there's a nice little area there for us. But yeah, this game can be extremely brutal. I'm not sure if it's a one life to live. I don't think it is, but you can because you can save, but you have certain save spots you can craft yourself. Also a base. High temperature, low deal, deal damage over time. Absolutely freaking lootly. I get it. It's 40 Celsius currently in the bottom. Not great, that's for sure. 
maybe I can craft up while we have the stems here. I don't think we're going to need anything else for the stems, right? Right now, I think all this is like cordage and stuff. So we have tons over there too. So while we're running into this, let's make ourselves five more of those. So by the time we get there, we need them. They'll be done. Utilize the time we have. They are crafting while we're running. You can see a little bit of sweat coming down from the left hand side. Little dripples of sweat at 42 Celsius. Yeah, it's plenty, pretty, plenty hot. Plenty. Now, thankfully enough, we don't need to boil the water. Last time I checked, I'm not sure if the full release will, uh, of course, make us boil. But I'm going to run it anyways because walking is not going to help us. We're going to have enough time to get the water and jump in and start getting ourselves going. Now, there is some... Uh, I don't wanna, if you didn't see the whole series, I'll, I'll let you get surprised by it. But there's things that will attack you in this game. So we have to be careful for those. And also those little... I don't know what you call those. The ruins or markers, I guess you say. Ancient markers that kind of give us a trail of where we should go next. I don't know if there's anything on the other side of these. But I know there's something on the other side of this one. Unless he changed it up. All right, we're at the water source. We can drink this up without any problems. And also, it's refreshing us. That's just great. And we're going to just grab ourselves our bottle. Am I inside the water? Is that the reason why? Yeah. Can't do too much inside the water. All right, there we go. Let's just... <laughs> Let's get our bottle here and make sure we can drink a bit more and make yourself happy. And there we go, refill. Sorry, that's not what it sounds like. You might have uh, let go of a little bit too much. All right, there's some rocks on the... Oh, this looks different than last time. Is it? I think it's a little different. There's some rocks here. Okay, one here. I've got to be careful of scorpions too. We got nailed by one of those last time. I didn't realize it. They're small and very, very quiet. Yes, I know. That's how it works. But what's that little red mark there? Interesting. Sticks. More stones. Uh, there's also fruits here we can use for bandages. And I'm not mistaken. I think we ate it and got sick too, but I'm not positive about it. If that was that or the scorpion itself. Okay, we're going to need to take a little dip. Bring down the temperature because we're not feeling too well. There's a froggies too we can utilize. I heard a little bit of movement there. It kind of freaked me out, but it's not what it is. All right, there's some dates up here too. They want us to pick up some fruits. There's some coconuts up here too. And there are some dates in this one here. And there's a froggy right there too. We're going to get the froggy afterwards. You have to worry your tools will break after a certain amount of time. The tree feels a lot easier to get up on than it did on the demo. It's not just me, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it might be, it might be just me. I definitely heard that frog. There it is. Let's just go and take a little hit. Wants us to place a marker. To learn how to do that. Okay. Let's grab a little bit of meat because it's very important. We will need that. All right. Let's get into the water a tiny bit for one second. Reduce our heat. And it's going to be tough. I'm also a little bit hungry too. So we could... Oh, did I just drop those? I think I did. And once it gets in the water, it's gone for freaking ever. That was a waste and a half. Oh, it went to my bar. Thank God. Oh, I wasn't sure about that. There we go. That yellow bar in the bottom left, right above the 41er. That one's telling you how much food you you have in your stomach, of course. And water is below it in blue and red, of course, your health. Which you need to cool off a lot in this game. All right, let's craft this up and see. We need to make ourselves a marker. Uh, that's something they want us to learn how to make. Seems like a real waste. In a way, it says it's going to blow away in a sandstorm. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. We're going to have to make one of those and complete that. Let's put this down. So I'll put it on the high point. There is this part here. I'll point it towards there. All right, there we go. We can dismantle a marker too if we want to, which is great. All right, splish splash. All right, we have to open up the map while we're underwater. <laughs> And uh, we have a marker down there, too. You can also place down Oasis if you want to on this. Oh, it's right up here. That's right. So right where we're at right now, marker, there's an Oasis right here. So it's good to know. And that's a house we just found last time. Whew. Man, I can hold my breath. <laughs> this is good. Okay, find some meat and cook it. I did grab already one of the frogs. Usually a frog around here, too. There it is. Try and survive day one. It isn't easy, I'm going to tell you right now. The sandstorm alone, we need to get prepared for that. This stacks, thankfully enough. All right, we did and cook it on a campfire. Now, this fruit here, 
wasn't good last time I ate, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to double check it again this time around. And uh, we're going to grab you. Wait, do I have enough room for that? I think I do. No, oh, I know you're hot, dude. I just like to give myself a hat if I can. How much did that cost me for the hat again? Craft. The hat seemed to help out a whole lot more than you would believe last time I made one. So yeah, I think I could craft this. We're going to place that onto our skulls and keep it down. This hat protects you against the sun and prevents sunburns for exposure too long, which is, you know, what we need right now. 44. It's not going to be foolproof, but it definitely helps a frig load. Still pretty hot. Let's get underneath the water. Man, this alone would be hot in here, but definitely... I'm taking a hit from being any water. Wow, it's pretty messed up. I don't think the shade is really working as well as I thought it would. Does it? Oh, it does help a little bit. Okay, I thought last time I checked it out, it didn't work. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the uh, way it was running during that time, right? So we can put this on here. This will help us reduce the time a bit. Very nice. All right, we need to make ourselves a campfire. That's going to be extremely important. Next steps, always next steps. Let's craft one of those. So it takes up two rocks and four sticks, which we happen to have which is great uh there is some cheaper palm trees i call them cheaper they're not very good these ones here will help us out it's good i mean i don't know any shape but we're going to, have to make a move anyways we're going to, have to make ourselves different areas to live in which means bringing in some stuff and make ourselves a bigger backpack and start hunting is extremely important now we don't want to leave anything on the ground because of the uh you know i told you before it's sandstorm comes in we're, we were completely screwed Actually, I'm gonna probably need to make myself a yeah, an area for us to build and rest in. Okay, so let's make the campfire right here. Did I do the same thing last time? I think so. It was kind of in a way of stuff. How about right here? Okay, good. And then we have to cook it. So we have to drop off some logs in here. We can always leave it in here and then take them out when we need to. We'll put some food on top of this. It takes a while to cook, by the way. Pretty good long time to cook. All right, there's another rock right here. Let's remember that. Pick it up and love it. Whoa, 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 dude. I'm in 42 in a shade, but still not good enough. All right. We could do this. We're almost fine. Find some meat and cook it. I did. I put it in there. Is it not cooked yet? It's almost, It takes a while, dude. You got to be very patient. <laughs> We're going to need to finish up some more stuff. Okay, waiting for that. I'm not going to do like I did when we first played this. I'm going to start chopping down trees. How much can I stack the wood at, by the way? Did I even check that? It's a 12 last time, I think. Yeah. Just checking out palms, too, and stems. Like I, I, I know you can split these things, too. I just leave them in there because I'm going to be close enough to it. If I was walking away from it, I'd definitely leave one or two logs at a time. Now, the cooking, I think, for the considering the logs, it should take a little bit longer. I'm not sure if they did that here before they burn out to all time. We saw 12, I think they have. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong or not, but yeah, I think they have. All right, we don't need to eat it, but they're gonna force us, right? No, they're not. This is pretty good, it's not over burning. Okay, so we can grab this out here. Let's just open this up. Can I split this up? Split. And split, there we go, let's put, there we go, like that. We'll put five more logs in there. Just keep your eye on it if we can. Okay. You're thirsty. Not a problem. Thankfully enough, this is water with full of feces and other things I don't even want to talk about. All right. That's a nice way to cool down. We need to make yourself a shelter and place one. So let's make ourselves that little shelter right here. We can also dismantle this if we need to. We're going to need some more cordage. So we're going to make ourselves at least three of those or two. There you go. Craft that up. I think I should have enough, right, with that? Should I not have enough? Courage 2, and I have at least no more left. All right, so I'm going to have to drop some off here. We're going to have to split this up. You just click on it, and then split up. I don't know. Let's get uh, two more of those out. I'll drop these on the ground. Because I don't need the palm fronds, too. I'll check that meat to make sure I'm not overdoing it. There it is, it is ready. Good stuff. 
Oh, wait a second. Did it stop? No, okay. I thought it stopped beforehand. I was like, that is pretty cool. Okay, I could have left the meat in there. Not a big problem, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to eat this. It gives us about, I think it's 30. I'm mistaken. 30 or 35 hunger. Dates give you a lot less. Of course, I think it's 10, 15. So we'll have to be careful of that. So let's put it on a shelter. We'll probably put it right back here. That way we have something. So let's have that crafted. And we're going to need to make ourselves still one more thing. Yeah, a nice little jump in case. Right, there we go. Craft you up, and then we'll be able to place it down. We also need to get the storage unit going, which means we need stems, which means I need to chop down a few more of you little trees. There's some coconuts too you can utilize, and these things too are very nice. Oh, this one doesn't work. There is another one of these somewhere around here that we can chop down, but we'll let it be for now. We'll find it. Just stick there. I think there's another rock around here somewhere. They haven't changed it up. Oh, no, we don't want to hit the dates. Those are food for later. Date. Okay, I was about to knock down a good tree. There's some bad trees and good trees. All right, let's put this down. Perfect. All right, from here we can sleep if we want to. Use the shelter to save. So this is where we are. Jump saving, hold R. All right, we're done. We have saved the game. It says on the bottom right next to the bar, which is very strange placement. Some of these, I don't know, I find it very weird. You guys heard the frog, right? That's food on the run. Okay, some sticks and some of you very much needed. Is that another rock right here? Got a rock, rock. I need to make myself a pickaxe, that's why. All right, here's way out of here. There will be animals coming here too. We can get some leather. Okay, he's dead. Stop, stop. Don't overkill him. Dude. Okay, this is a regular palm, right? This one? Just a palm. Palm with no ability for feeding us, so it can go bye-bye. And gotta craft a hammer next. I need some of you. I need some more lashings and stuff, but for now, I'm gonna work on uh, how many do I have on me? Six. I think I'm gonna grab eight. The rest of these, I'm gonna go for stems. We need tons of those. Okay, we're pretty cool here. Another piece of meat on a run. Hopping its way through. Now, the thing is, I don't know when my axe is going to break. It doesn't really tell you. Or at least I don't think it does. If I'm hovering over it, does it tell you how long left on it? It doesn't. So there's no marker of when that thing's going to break on us. So we kind of have to be careful just to type it. There's another one here. No, we're good. We got some goodies right here. And another rock right there. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good stuff. We are fire. We have our stuff. Now we just need to make ourselves a hammer so we can start building some stuff up here. Okay, so what do you need for the hammer? I need myself some four quarters. This seems like a lot of quarters to spend. I'm just saying, it's a lot, a lot more than I want to spend right here. So that's done. Almost. There we go. Two. Three and four. We're done after that. We're able to make this. And then, of course, we're going to need the pickaxe, too. All right, so I can't build near the water anymore for some reason. So be it. We're just building a crappy little shelter anyways for now, right? Uh, place a piece of foundation. You don't have all requirements. You need logs and planks. Oh, crap. That's right. All right, stop this fire. Okay, we can make a couple of planks while we're waiting for this. How many planks I need for that, by the way? Just out of curiosity to tell you. Two planks. All right, let's just not overdo it. Let's make ourselves two. I don't want to have problems with things in my inventory. Already, I'm starting to get full, and it's not very good this way. So we're going to make those two planks. This way, I can have that. I have my logs on me already. And this is almost cooked up. All right, both planks are made. We're going to have to bring this back up here, of course, like before. 
perfecto. And we have that completed. Now we have to build ourselves a doorway, which is, of course, going to take more planks and stuff, right? I bet you. That's a door. Doorway. We need fronds and logs. We have those on us. That's why I kept those palm fronds. Nice. Okay, that's done. What do you want me to do now? Place a door in a doorway. What's it going to take? Cordage and one log. I think I have one cordage left. Okay. I think I need a roof and some walls too, dude. Just saying. All right, we're going to eat some food. Oh, my, my logs. <laughs> I need them. Okay. Here ends the tutorial. Well, I, I think I understand the rest of this. I'm going to get my button gear and get rolling and making some more stuff here. So we have at least a place here if we need to come back and we can store up some stuff. Now, the buildings, from what I've heard, can break and expect it. The windows cost less. Two and three. Two and four. Yeah, two and three. I don't know if it's bad to have a window. But I really don't know. So we need, what, palm fronds and logs, right? Is that what we need? Yeah, we need some more palm fronds. All right, don't adjust the screen. It is a little hazy at night here, in case you're wondering. Uh, so, you know, I don't think I really want to have window issues. Because I don't think I can build myself a window. Can I? A fencing. I'm not positive the window won't affect us or not. You know what? We wanted to find out doing the first build. Let's mess around with it. I, I don't know. Figuring it should build to make herself a window afterwards, but we can't. I don't know. And let's do a roof piece. What am I missing now? Three planks. Gotcha. Not a problem. We can craft those up really easily. Let's go for three. And I went to get some more wood and stuff. So if you guys are looking inside the inventory here, we're doing pretty darn good. We have 11 wood still after all that. And we're making ourselves planks, ourselves some stems. We have, still have some palm fronds. Very nice. I think I have enough right yet. There we go. Now the other thing I'd like to make before we end this all up for the night, uh, we should make ourselves bed, but I'm not going to worry about wasting too much. We need to get ourselves a couple of stems. Now to make the stems, of course, you guys know, just drop these on the ground and we shouldn't need them anymore like this. So we'll just go and grab this. If not, we'll just chop down another tree. We are a little bit hungry. And we could get ourselves a coconut if we need to on a fly but also what is this a date date palm yeah it seems a little better climbing up than it did before by the way i wasn't too sure if i was just that one time but it does feel and seem that way when i'm actually doing it so let's eat while we're in the tree there we go nice no fall damage to worry about let's uh cut this out Perfect. Okay. So let's get into the crafting menu. Let's craft this baby up, which will be our savior to our little storage box. Anything we can't bring with us, we're going to leave it in there. We can also make ourselves a bed if you want to. We got a lot of stuff. Also, fishing. I guess a torch. Sorry. I thought that was a fishing. That's a torch. But it does take up one log, one cordage, one front. Wow. It's kind of expensive, though. But I mean, I'm not sure how long it lasts. But we're going to. What? Always good to repels flies and other insects. Oh, we got to worry about that too. Great. That means we have mosquitoes, I bet you. All right. Let's put down this in the darkness of the night. Our little storage area. All right. And it gives us at least some place we can start putting down some stuff while we're working on it. It's pretty cool. But we're going to go and sleep next to us. And I'm going to probably keep this on us. So when we come back for next episode, it'll be next day. And we're going to finish up and try and figure out, we're going to get ourselves some weapons and other things. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. So thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying us, please take time. Hit the like button. If you're brand new, please go ahead and subscribe. You guys are absolutely the best. This game edge, it'll catch you guys on the flip side.